What's going on? We are officially live. So, um, welcome to our first more um, uh, Marketing Mondays, where we're going to break down marketing 101. We're going to answer all of your questions. Uh, Amanda is going to be on here to actually assist me in this. Um, I'm, I'm super excited, so whenever she can, let's bring her right on so we can actually get this started. What's going on, guys? Welcome. If you guys have any questions in regards to branding, marketing, your real estate business, please, please feel free to put them in the comments. We're going to be answering everything live. Hey. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? It's exciting because like we're kind of together, but we're not together. I feel like I see you from the corner of my eye because you're outside the house yeah. right now. So I'm super excited about this. This is going to be great. So let's let's actually tell everybody a little bit about this more marketing, I mean, more, more, I keep messing it up, more money marketing, marketing Mondays, where we're going to yes. go over everything in regards to branding, marketing, all that good stuff. If you guys have any questions or you have any, I, like anything in regards to branding, marketing, we are here for you. Drop them in the comments below. Yes. And, you know, just to introduce ourselves really quickly, because I know that right now we're going live from the Design for Agents account. Um, yeah. Who are we? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes. For those of you who don't know us, uh, we are the founders of Design for Agents, right? My name is Alexander Fazlani. I am a broker of eight years. Um, and then me and my beautiful fiance, who is also an uh, agent, um, basically founded this company to actually give back to agents and make sure that they have everything they need in order to succeed in the real estate business, yeah. right? And this, this journey with Design for Agents, the e-commerce store that we uh, created, has been a phenomenal journey. We've had so much growth over the last two years. Um, and today marks the very first day that we go live to talk about Marketing Mondays, what it is, why we created it, um, and to also cover a topic in here. So if you're tuning in live right now or you're watching the replay, we're going to answer one of the Ask Me About Marketing questions, which has to do with actually promoting and marketing your newest listing. So we'll get into that in a couple of minutes. Um, but before we do, uh, Alex, let's talk about why we even created Marketing Mondays. Of course, of course. So um, I know Amanda. We were we were we were brainstorming some ideas of how to you know answer our uh, followers' questions, right? So we were getting a lot of questions. We're answering them individually, but we felt like it would be something that would be so uh, positive if we just kind of shared every every question with everybody, so we can answer more questions at the same time. So Marketing Mondays was born, and Amanda has been doing such a great job in putting everything together and correlating everything and making sure everything uh, is going smoothly. So thank you so much for that. Yeah, and I think one thing that's very exciting for us about Marketing Mondays, um, just so that you guys know watching this, Marketing Mondays is a weekly e-blast that provides you, basically delivers to your inbox once a week on Mondays around 8.15 a.m., uh, bite-sized pieces of advertising, marketing, branding, and production strategies that you can implement into your business. And I actually uh, asked inside of our team group chat, you know, we have a team of almost 36 agents now. Uh, not just in New York and in other states as well. And, and we asked, hey, you know, what do you guys think of Marketing Mondays? You know, this is our third week. Um, are they helpful? You know, what, what's your opinion? And one agent chimed in to say that they felt that it was very helpful, a lot of information, but easily digestible. We didn't go to, you know, complex or anything like that, which I think is great because if in case you don't know, we have over 25 hours of education. <laughs> Yeah, if you go to designforagents.com, you go to the education section, and they're, they're all there from Facebook ads to uh, what should I do if I want to start my own brokerage to following up the 200K formula. That, like, literally everything's there. It's free 99 yeah, so there's over 25 hours of free education at designforagents.com. And, you know, we've created that education and we've continued to do free online trainings, but they're always an hour long. <laughs> yeah, and also, I feel like we're also like condensed to one subject. So we go for an hour long, one subject. Now we can kind of, you know, be a little free form. Yeah, exactly. We can cover more in a shorter amount of time. And let's face it, real estate agents, we're busy. Um, it's it's not e always easy for a lot of us to sit down for an entire hour and learn about a specific topic. Um, and with Marketing Mondays, you know, getting that email every Monday morning um, is the start of the week. You get to learn new strategies or learn a deeper uh, version of a specific strategy. Um, and we cover quite a lot in there. But I timed it. I think you can read it in like between five and eight minutes. 
I think if you're a speed reader, you could get it done in four minutes. But, you know, we can put that to the test. If you guys want, shoot us an email with what you think, how long it took you to actually read that. Yeah, let us know. Um, Because I would personally love to keep it to a five to eight minute or less read. Um, Because I think that's feasible uh, even in the bathroom. So (laughs) I don't have to say that. (laughs) Let's not bring the bathroom onto this live, okay? (laughs) Everybody goes. So... um, (laughs) So do you want to break down um, that, that asked me about real, uh, asked me about marketing section? Because I know that that was a really good one this week. Um, I, I read through it. It was awesome. But do you want to touch on that a little bit? Yeah, yeah. So inside of Marketing Mondays, the e-blast, the second section of the email, we actually have an ask me about marketing uh topic where you as an agent can submit a question so all you have to do is is be on the newsletter list um and every time you get the email you can just submit a question or you can email us at designedforrealtors at gmail.com or send us a dm here either alex myself or designed for agents instagram and you can submit a question and we'll answer it in the email in depth so the question that we got this week i actually have it with me i'll read it verbatim it comes from a brand spanking new agent named julia And uh, she was brave enough to write in and ask, I just got my first ever listing and I'm not really sure what to do next. I got all the paperwork done and have professional photos. Should I run ads, do an open house first? Any advice? Julia, we've all been there. (laughs) Yes, we have all been there. Yes, yes. Um, And in the e-bus, we actually talk about how it's almost like a rite of passage to have your very first listing and have like those jitters. Like even if you have a team leader or an awesome broker, you still feel nervous, right? For sure. For sure. Yeah, yeah. No, it's 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 kind of like you're doing everything for the first time. So you don't know if you're doing it right or what you should be doing at all. Right. Exactly. <laughs> and so then, you want to talk to a little bit about your first open house? How, to, how did you feel when you or first uh, marketing experience? Ooh, um, for me in real estate, I almost feel like I had a cheat sheet to real estate because I had you. <laughs> no, don't gas my head up on live. But honestly, you were super helpful. Um, and, and I really, I was tied to your hip. Like I shadowed you for six months before I even went and took the real estate exam. Um, so I feel like I had a little bit of an unfair advantage compared to uh, other agents. But I was nervous. Even so, even knowing that you were physically there with me, knowing that we had practiced so many times how to convert buyers who walk into the open house or, you know, we, we talked about multiple times how to promote a property. I still felt nervous with the very first listing. Mm -hmm, For sure. For sure. And I think that's something important that we covered. I'm actually going to move a little bit inside because it's starting to rain on me right now. Yeah. I actually just noticed that I saw some drops in in your, (laughs) If you want, yeah. just go under this way, right here. Yeah. So, <laughs> for those of you who don't know, I can actually see Amanda from where my vantage point right now. It's crazy. <laughs> What's <laughs> up, guys? So, um, one thing that we covered inside of the EWAS was this idea that a lot of agents, experienced ones as well, they will mm-hmm. just throw up a listing on the MLS and forget about it. Please do not do this. Please, please, please. please. Yeah, it's it's such a bad idea. Um, there's so much more that you could do. Your clients deserve better, right? Your sure. clients deserve better than you just taking the listing, you know, getting the bare minimum done, which the bare minimum would literally be photographing it professionally, hopefully, uh, getting a video tour done, throwing it up on the MLS, and then doing your one little just listed post. That is not enough. Your clients deserve better. And so in the eBoss, we, we broke it down. It's like really starting to rain. Let me go inside, inside. <laughs> For sure. So, um, Alex, in terms of like pushing it and, and doing better by your clients, doing right by your seller clients, what are some other ways? I know that we covered a lot of things inside of the e-blast. What are some other ways that we can actually do better by them, right? Promote of course, of course. the new listing. I mean, there's definitely a multitude of ways, and I think um, it, it requires not being uh, so creative. It re- actually requires getting back to the fundamentals, right? So um, getting out into the neighborhood, actually letting everybody know that this property is for sale, whether that be through geo calls, door knocking. Um, I, I know the one that we spoke about that I feel is very, very um, you know, overlooked is the handwritten letters. You write 20 handwritten letters to the closest 20 neighbors, um, letting them know that, hey, if you know anybody in your family that wants to move near near you, this is an opportunity, right? Um, and then also 
that's a good opportunity to kind of get into the neighborhood if you know anybody else looking to sell or whatever it may be. I think door knocking is an amazing uh, opportunity during when you get your first listing. It's not as sexy as, you know, uh, posting, you know, on social media and pushing the yeah. Facebook ads, which is great. Trust me, you can do, if you do all of it, you're going to be a branding wizard. People are going to know who you are in that neighborhood, right? But the I think the fundamentals are, are severely overlooked when it comes to uh, marketing in one of your new listings. Yeah, definitely. And we actually break this down literally step by step. Um, we give you a checklist inside of the uh, Marketing Mondays email um, that everyone got this morning around 8.15 a.m. And inside of the email, we, we mentioned things like making sure that you upload the listing to other websites other than what's syndicated with your MLS, right? Not every website is connected to your MLS. Like for us here in New York, um, Street Easy doesn't automatically pull the listings in. So we have to do that manually, right? There's other websites that you should double check and make sure that they are on there. Um, and then also contacting other brokers. Yeah, I feel like this is like one that like nobody really does. And if they do do it, it's not really like, you know, I feel like a lot of agents kind of have this uh, negative connotation with keeping realtors cards and actually putting them into your database. Right. Yeah. Other realtors, other real estate professionals are invaluable because think about it. If, if you, if you, you should be going for volume. You shouldn't be going necessarily for like, oh, I'm a, I'm gonna get both ends of the commission deal. That that should happen like organically. If you get that, awesome, right? But if you actually focus on your client's best interest, trust me, that's gonna go way further in the long run than just like getting one sale now, right? Exactly. Um, and I, I think a lot of agents get shocked when we, we put something like that in the email where it's like, you should have a list inside of your CRM of all the agents and brokers that you've come across doing showings. You should be saving their contact information and letting them know that you have this brand new listing and seeing if they have any buyers, right? Because the, the more traffic and traction you get for your new listing, the more likelihood you have of getting multiple offers. And I think there's almost a sense of like, Oh, but in this market, you know, the inventory is low. So I just got to throw it up on the MLS and it'll sell itself. And that's not always true. Yeah. And I also think what's wrong with that and what's going to be a negative thing for that is that you're not building your brand, right? Nobody's going to know who you are if you're just throwing it on the MLS and then you, they see a little picture of you on Zillow. They need to see that little picture of you on Zillow, but also they need to see you on Facebook. They need to meet you in person. They need to hear you on the phone. They like, think about, all the different senses, you got to appeal to all those. If they see a freaking billboard of you while they're driving home, that's a plus two, right? Yeah. So, like, it, it's all about the brand. And if you're just throwing on the MLS, you're not branding yourself. You're just being basic. And guess what? For sale by owners, could just throw out for sale by owner.com, right? Yeah. You're doing the same. You're doing the bare, bare minimum of what it actually takes to get multiple offers to create those bidding wars in a hot market or to sell a property that's, you know, slow on the market, depending on where you are, right? Yeah. Exactly. Um, and, you know, just to, to cut this off, because we are, where are we on time? Okay, we're uh, perfect. <laughs> we're 15 okay. minutes in. Um, so, you know, those are just some little things that you could do when you have a brand new listing and you aren't sure what to do. And inside of the Marketing Mondays email, we literally broke down, there's like 15 things in there that you could do. And it's all mapped out inside of the e-blast. And I also just want to put out there before we end this live that, in today's Marketing Monday eblast, we actually broke down a unique Facebook ad strategy that you could use um, with custom audiences where you could literally serve Facebook ads directly to specific people. I'm talking if you wanted to upload a list of expireds or Fizbos, you could do that. And we break down exactly how to do it step by step inside of today's eblast. Yeah, and if you guys want to sign up for our Marketing Monday, you can actually go to the link in the bio and sign up there as well. Um, and if you guys have any other questions um, in regards to branding and you weren't able to get an answer during this particular live, you can always reach out to me or Amanda or Design for Agents, and we're more than happy to break it down for you. Yes, yeah, so if you're watching the replay, ask us your marketing questions down below, and you might be the next feature inside of the next email. Awesome, guys. So um, thank you. Very, very excited. Marketing Monday is officially done, and we're going to keep doing these. I'm excited for it. I feel like we're going to definitely add a lot of value through them. But thank you, Amanda, for uh, right. popping outside to actually do this. I'll, I'll see you in two seconds. I see you right now. <laughs> all right, guys. Have a good day, all right?